Hi, Graham here from SunGrow. Uh, most of our new hybrid inverters now include a changeover switch. There is a couple of reasons why you want to fit a changeover switch. You might be installing in an area that doesn't allow you to switch the inverter on until it's been inspected, or there could be something wrong with the inverter. Now, this is a good way of getting around those problems. Now, I'm going to show you basically how the changeover switch actually works, and then I'll show you a changeover switch. Now, normal grid supply comes in from the grid. You have your normal loads on the grid supply, and you have the AC supply to the inverter as normal. You've got PV and a battery plugged in as well, and you've got a backup circuit. Now, out of the backup circuit goes through the changeover switch to the backup loads. Okay, so everything's working fine. Now, if something happens to the inverter, it's switched off or disconnected, you'll find no power to the backup circuits. So all the owner needs to do is go to the switchboard and flip over onto grid and the backup loads will be supplied from the grid. Now, I'm going to show you in the three phase units, this is a three phase changeover switch. For the sake of simplicity, I'll use the single phase. This is literally three of these together. So I'll show you how it goes together. Uh, it's pretty much the same deal as that. What you see there is what you see here. The bottom connection here goes to your backup loads. Top left, which is number one, goes to your backup supply out the inverter and top right, which is number two, goes to your AC grid supply. And it's as simple as that. So you have it switched on to backup. And if something goes wrong, you switch it through the center position, which is off, onto grid. Simple as that. Now, if you happen to get a 038 fault coming up, it basically means you've connected the backup output to the grid. Now, there's a simple way to test this. You put the switch, the changeover switch, into the off position in the middle. This is the backup port going out to the backup loads. That should go dead. If it's got power in it, you've wired it wrong. Another test you can do is on the top right hand corner, that should be connected to grid. So if you switch the mains off, that should go dead as well. And that's a couple of easy tests to work out if you've wired it incorrectly or not. Nice and easy.